Meet Eddie Chan, Chief Strategy Officer for Tencent Games Global. Sort of long and short of it is I've always been passionate about games, right? Since I was a little kid, uh, I've always loved video games uh, to my parents' chagrin. Um, and, uh, and I never thought it was something that I could do for a living. The opportunity uh, came up and, uh, and, and was able to get into the industry. And once I got my foot in the door, you know, I, I didn't let go, right? Uh, and it's been, you know, sort of uh, a, a, a wild ride ever since. And a wild ride it's been with the addition of several new studios that span the globe and the audacious launch of an entirely new brand. It's been fascinating to learn how games actually get made um, and you know, be sort of just even a fly on the wall in that process has been um, phenomenal to see. For Chan, remaining teachable was the key. Early on, it, as I got into the industry, I realized the closer I was to the product, the closer I was to the development teams, the, the happier I was and, you know, the more excited I, I was. So um, that's where I've uh, always aspired to try to spend as much time with, you know, with the devs and, and um, uh, sort of understand what, what they're trying to do and, uh, you, you know, understand how to help them uh, is, is, is where really my passion has been. That bold move to create the new brand Level Infinite was no small task in itself, but for a company like Tencent, already seen as one of the world's most valuable tech companies, I asked if there was pushback. There, there, were, there was buy-in from the beginning that it made sense and, and that that was the direction we wanted to go in and that, you know, this is not going to happen overnight. And what was kind of the seed behind the original idea? We realized that, that Tencent as a brand has value in China uh, and, and has value uh, within the games industry, um, but uh, not necessarily uh, a brand that resonates with consumers. And after years of planning, that realization came to fruition in December of 2021. It isn't something that happens overnight, um, but we thought, why not uh, start something, create something uh, with the aspiration of, of building it into, into really uh, a brand that stands for great games and that will resonate with gamers uh, into the future. With a stable of experts in marketing, content, technology, and game design, Level Infinite is helping each studio push the boundaries, increase scope, and realize their full potential. The idea is with each title, you know, we're going to deposit a little bit of credit into that you know, bank. In a hit-driven industry, Level Infinite has already made some pretty big deposits into the bank of gaming, with an impressive genre-bending group of studios and titles. Is there something that you kind of look at when you're uh, analyzing a studio or developer that piques your interest? You know, when I say it, it, it almost sounds, you know, uh, sort of too simple, but it really is about the, the talent and the, you know, making great games. You know, it's, it's yeah. not more complicated than that. So what we look for is, you know, accomplished teams uh, that have uh, shipped great products together um, and have big aspirations and big ambitions, right? Um, where we feel like we might be able to add some value to, to that mix and, and help unlock some. And with each new Tencent partnership comes the question of independence and autonomy, a question neither the studios or Chan shied away from. Independence and the ability to control our creative destiny and, and do things on the, as we want to go do them was, was critical to us when we started chatting with Tencent. We've always believed in the independence for our studios. Chan says that as long as they're focused on the people making the games, they'll always be in the best position to win over the people playing the games. At the end of the day, when you invest in a, a video game company, you know, what you're investing in is the people. Right? The, right. The, you know, the assets walk out of the front door every day. And they were so gracious about that and so appreciative of that and so uh, respectful of that. You know, one of the things that I take a lot of pride in is when I meet a developer, I say, look, like, you don't have to take my word for it. Go within your own network, right, of any right. studio that has worked with Tencent and see what they say. We did just that. It's very good to have a supportive partner that believes in our vision and wants to say, look, let's make your vision be everything it can be. We have a deal in place that, that ensures that Tencent has what it needs and that we have what we need, and it's just, I couldn't be happier. It's just, it's been great. How do you stay away from the one size fits all? Because I know that's something that's very important to you personally. It's, it's the reality. One size does not fit all. Every situation is different. What a developer needs or doesn't need in every situation is different. And while there's no doubt that video games are the perfect combination of technology and art, Chan says that the key ingredient is passion. The amazing thing about this industry is that people are so passionate about games, right? Absolutely. And, 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 and they um, absolutely have a, a vision for what they want to do. 
And our whole, uh, our whole goal is to be able to help unlock that and stand, stand back and get out of the way, right? Yeah. So, um, and, and, and that's what we try to do. At the end of the day, the, we will have a much stronger game because of it, uh, because of their, their support and, and trust. And there's a lot of challenges, you know, there's uh, geographic challenges, time zone challenges, language, culture barriers. So, you know, I, I by no means want to say like, we've got it all figured out because we <laughs> don't, you know, um, yeah. but, but we're learning and I think we're getting there. The overall industry is continuing to grow. Uh, it is a rising tide that is lifting all boats, uh, and it's exciting. For Level Infinite, I'm Tony Bernhard, Jr.